Hey y'all, it's June the 3rd, 2015, here to talk to y'all today about a topic that comes up between myself and other intellectuals fairly often. Usually I gotta admit, I, I usually get the same response. Uh, it goes like this. I'll hear celebrities. Alright. They'll say something. Uh, and it'll get on the internet. And it'll get all over popular culture. Who knows how many people will see this person say exactly what I've seen them say. So I'll see a certain celebrity. And they'll say something. And it's just it blows my mind and it makes it makes my blood boil how ignorant it can get or right, it makes me mad it makes me speak out about it uh, start to get angry by it but in having a discussion um, with other intellectuals usually run into the same thing like for example might say, hey, did you hear that Snoop Dogg, and this is, this is, uh, true, check this out, Snoop Dogg endorses Hillary Clinton for 2016, and Elizabeth, whatever her name is, and then the other person might say to me, well, you know, I don't really care for celebrities, I try not to know what they're up to uh and of course you know i don't really watch television very much so it really doesn't ap apply to me or nor do i find it concerning what a celebrity is saying because i read books i listen to people who also think deeply which is usually not a celebrity of any kind they don't think deeply at all So that's the response I get, and it really doesn't go anywhere. But the thing is, I gotta stress that the majority of people, the mass of the population, especially in the United States, which I'm fairly familiar with, they are uh, fallen, they are ignorant beyond words. Uh, their eyes are dead. Can't really talk to them about very much. Some might argue that they're maybe not, not human beings anymore. Maybe they lost humanity. Um, I'm saying you could say all these things about them, but the thing is, let's be real. Those people, although seem to be dead inside, they are capable of destruction. They are capable of force. And they're extremely capable of being manipulated. So, in, in that regard, I think that it's actually it's a pretty good idea to keep an eye, an eye on all these celebrities to see what they're saying. Now that being said, say if you're a small child, somehow you wandered onto my channel, I don't know how you did that, but say if you're a small child and you're, you're confused right now. You see people, little sometimes little children, and they're in movies, and you enjoy the movie and you say, man, that was a good movie. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that actor's performance. This is what you do from there. Say, I really enjoyed that actor's performance. All right, before I know anything about that person, what I'm going to assume is they are straight retarded. They are as retarded as can be, and uh, I probably would hate to ever be around that individual. This is just what I'm going to assume because I know that they're a celebrity before I ever hear a word about them. And you treat every single person that you see on the television. See in the magazines, 
that you see all over the pop culture, the, the internet, and everything. You say, hmm, Justin Bieber, I don't know anything about him. But this is what I'm going to assume. He's a fucking dirtbag. And he also doesn't know shit about anything. And I'm going to do the exact opposite of whatever I hear him do. So, like, the news might, uh, you know, throw headlines out at you. They might say, hey, Justin Bieber just peed in a bucket. And, uh, whatever. He does hip-hop dances. He's got his underwear hanging out. Of his pants, he has a belt on, but it does not matter. His pants still can't stay at his waist. So you say, okay, as a child, I know that he's a celebrity, right? I'm not going to go out of my way to piss in buckets for, like, attention. And I'm, I'm not going to do these hip, hip-hop hip dances that he's doing. And I'm also going to get a belt, and I'm going to put my pants where they belong at my waist. So that you don't see my underwear because that was the whole point of the belt. That's the reason why the belt was invented. That's the actions that I'm going to take. Do the exact opposite of whatever they're doing. Even if you don't know whether or not what they're doing is right. Assume it's wrong. Do the exact opposite. Now I say that to say this. And I know uh, it was a big build up. But I want to bring up this article that I've seen just today, just this morning, I gotta say, I like it, I like it, you need, like I said, you need to assume that every single celebrity is legally retarded, like a, like a little child that'll never grow up, but when you see exceptions to this rule, when you see a celebrity go out of their way, or a politician, i.e. Rand Paul, when you see them go out of their way to say something that completely agrees with what you're saying, what you already said, what you've been saying, when you see them completely agreeing with that and go ahead putting their foot down and saying it in a man voice with their chest, hey, listen, this is what it is. I know I'm a celebrity, but no, nah, I'm speaking the truth today. One such example is an article that I just read. It's from out of GQ. You can find it on their website. Of course, I put a link at the bottom. But Vince Vaughn recently went into a GQ and he laid down the law. He said, I like guns. I like them. I like them. All right, because I don't want people telling me what to do and how to live. All right, so I got guns. He said, hey, you want to make places safe? You want to make schools safe? Get guns. We live in America. Guns equal safety. Statistics proved that a long time ago. And he did not, it did not seem like he was wavering about it at all. He, he then said some stuff about Snowden where he's just basically laying on, on your face truth out in the, in the interview. You, some might argue, well, is Snowden a double agent spy or a triple agent spy? How are we going to know? But the thing is to give the American people information that they can use that they really should know is a good idea. Just so happens to be a good idea. Vince Vaughn, he went ahead and reaffirmed that, that maybe the American people having the opportunity to know something is a good idea. All right, the reason that, the second reason that I made this video is that people, first of all, need to share uh, this information that Vince Vaughn just went down and he said, mmm, guns, I like them. They need to share this information. Now, you go to the website right now, and I'm sure it's going to be more by the time you see this video. It's been two days since this article was posted. Up. Two. Probably not even two whole days. The article has been shared 58,360 times. So people are doing their part to share this information. God bless them. It's a good idea. So that's why I made this video to do my part to share it. Because maybe you didn't come across this article. You need to come across this article and read it. 
But not only that, here's, here's how we make a difference. Fuck voting for the mayor, all right? Each and every candidate for the mayor of San Antonio is a dirtbag, a sleazeball, all right? So instead of doing that, how about you make a real vote? You go to the red box, or you go to like somewhere else where there's movies and stuff and satellite on your dang TV, and you give Vince Vaughn money by renting or buying or purchasing one of his movies. And I understand, you know, first of all, like I really like Wedding Crashers and, uh, you know, I saw you in Rudy and stuff. I thought you were good. There's a lot of movies that you've been in that were pretty good. There's other movies that are questionable, like that one where you work for uh, Google or whatever. That was pretty lame, but the thing is, just to show you support for what you said, for being an exemption to the rule of celebrities that they're retarded completely, just for that, I, if I went to the Red Box right now, I'd read the damn Google movie, and I wouldn't even watch it because I don't really like the movie, but so what? I would give Vince Vaughn money. Vince Vaughn deserves more money. He needs more money. I want to make sure that happens any way that I can. Thank you. Thank you, Vince Vaughn. This is uh, June the 3rd, 2015. Guns are good. That's what Vince Vaughn said.